Show your love for Jug, Speed Cola, and Double Tap by picking up the Gone But Never Forgotten tea. A link is down below. Stoolinger is not wrong. There are way too many Richtofens to keep track of. And today what I thought I would do is chronicle every Richtofen we have ever had in Call of Duty Zombies. Now, I should note that this list I tried to be as exhaustive as possible. In fact, for that reason, there are a few redundancies. Some Richtofens are technically other Richtofens, but in different forms, but I felt that just for the sake of clarity, it made sense to make them their own versions of Richtofen. But if they spawn from other Richtofens, I will make that very clear. In addition to that, I'm not going anywhere near the SCAR theory. Um, I think at this point the SCAR theory has been all but debunked. However, there are some people out there who still believe it. I'm just completely ignoring the SCAR theory for now. Anyway, this is what I believe to be every Richtofen we have ever seen throughout Call of Duty Zombies. The first Richtofen on our list is the Ultimus Richtofen, aka the classic Richtofen, the evil Nazi Richtofen. This Richtofen is the one who essentially kick-started the zombie storyline. He is the one that trapped Samantha in the teleporter. He's also the one that concocted the grand scheme. He was first seen on the map Shino Numa, and then we also found him in chronological order, Kino Toten, Ascension, Shangri-La, Classified, Moon, and then come Black Ops 2, he was a disembodied voice. You'll remember after Moon, he takes control of the MPD Pyramid and becomes the announcer. Then he is a disembodied voice in Transit, Die Rise, and Buried. Now in Buried, his story can go two possible directions. He can go on to become the person in control and the world becomes his own personal plaything, or he can be plucked into the body of undead Richtofen. We'll get to him in a minute. We also then see Ultimus Richtofen come back in Classified, but this time you'll remember his soul got put into the MPD and then Samantha's soul got put into Richtofen's body. Now Maxis eventually plucked Samantha's soul out of Richtofen's body and Richtofen was just a lifeless, soulless body. Now eventually, undead Richtofen ends up putting his soul back into his original body in Classified. We learn this in one of the Classified radios. So Ultimus Richtofen's story is a little convoluted, but it basically goes from Shinonuma to Kino to Ascension to Shangri-La to Classified to Moon to Transit to Die Rise to Buried, then back to Classified. Now we have Undead Richtofen. This was an intentional decision to separate Undead Richtofen from Ultimus Richtofen. While they technically share the same soul, they occupy different bodies and essentially occupy different chapters or sagas within the zombie storyline. So, after Buried, Maxis punishes Richtofen by putting his soul in the body of a zombie. Richtofen then occupies that zombie body. This zombie, under the direction of Primus Richtofen, who will be going to next, hunts down Victus in an effort to collect their blood vials. Once he has their blood vials, he gives them to Primus Richtofen, and then he travels to Classified, where in Classified he puts his soul back into the body of Ultimus Richtofen. So essentially, Undead Richtofen's journey is seen like this. He begins in Buried, then he hunts down the Victus crew, and then finally puts his soul into the body of Ultimus Richtofen and dies. Then we have Primus Richtofen, first seen on the map Origins, and then we follow him throughout Black Ops 3. He is briefly seen in Shadows of Evil, and then playable in the giant DEZGK, as well as Revelations. This Richtofen was last seen in Blood of the Dead. He dies there in Blood of the Dead. You see, this Richtofen, Primus Richtofen, was trapped in a cycle where he would repeat this journey of going from Origins to Shadows to the Giant to DE to Zet to GK to Rev and then back to the Great War and so forth. He was stuck in this cycle forever. It turns out, in an effort to break the cycle, he needed to die in Blood of the Dead and that's where we see his demise right there. This Richtofen also was in contact with Undead Richtofen and used Undead Richtofen to collect the blood of Victus. This is where things are going to get a little complicated. You see, following Revelations, Primus Richtofen splits into two people. We actually see this in the timeline where Primus enters in one path but then leaves in two. 
This is when Monty sends them back in time to the Great War, and then they become their Great War versions of themselves. So we have two different ones. We have one from the In the Beginning cycle, which just sends them back to January 15th, 1292 and they fight the great war against the apothecons and then eventually they rescue sir pablo marinus from the clutches of amargua following that they band together with the keepers to end the great war and finally before they disappear instruct the wolf king to build their Eisendracha. that is the story of one of the great war richtofens who exist in the in the beginning cycle we then have Dimension 63, Great War Richtofen. This Richtofen was sent to the Great War, and he follows pretty much the same path as the in the beginning Richtofen. I've decided, though, to break them off into two different Richtofens because they could technically exist in the same room at the same time. That's kind of the standard I'd hold for myself. If these two Richtofens are able to occupy the same exact place in time, then they are different Richtofens. So we have Great War Richtofen from Dimension 63, and we have Great War Richtofen from In the Beginning. We also have proof that these are two different Richtofens. You'll notice that we have this original premise sketch, and then we have this image of the Great War following Revelations. They are in two separate places. You can tell because the backgrounds are different. This is what lets us know that these are from two different timelines. One is from Dimension 63, and one is from the In the Beginning cycle. The next Richtofen we have is Eddie. Eddie is the young Richtofen, first seen in Origins when he was in the house playing with Samantha. Eddie was then last seen in Revelations with the rest of the children. Not much is known about Eddie. We don't know how he specifically got into the house. We know it just at one point he was brought to the house. He, as well as the other children, are the key to making things right. They need to preserve their innocence, as well as keep them away from Dr. Monty. He will become more important, I imagine, as the storyline goes on. Our next Richtofen can be referred to as the Giant Ultimus Richtofen. This Richtofen is not too different from our original Ultimus Richtofen. The only difference is, is that he exists in a fracture, an alternate universe in which things are slightly different. He's just basically a Richtofen from a different dimension. This Richtofen was first seen in the Giant. He's there activating the teleporter and then outsteps Primus Richtofen to kill him. That's all we really have for this, the giant Ultimus Richtofen from this fracture. He's seen very briefly and then is killed. Following the giant Ultimus Richtofen, we have House Primus Richtofen. This Richtofen is arguably controversial. He's a Richtofen that I believe exists. However, people could probably argue he doesn't. I still think he does. This Richtofen comes from an odd inconsistency in Call of Duty Co Zombies comic issue number 6. In this comic, we see Richtofen is at his lab, and then Victus teleports in. But you'll notice this lab is the exact same setup as the teleporter in the house. This leads me to believe that this Richtofen is actually in the house. Now, the reason this Richtofen exists in his own category is because when you read the timeline, we learn Richtofen returns to the lab under Alcatraz where he meets Victus arriving from the empty earth with the Crenorium. So we have two different realities, one in which Victus arrives at Alcatraz and one in which Victus arrives at the house. And so I felt it was important to make a clear separation between this Richtofen who exists in the house and this Richtofen who is at Alcatraz with Victus. It seems as though we jump dimensions in the Call of Duty Zombies comic without it ever being explicitly mentioned to us. Maybe I'm wrong about this, but I felt that for the sake of posterity, it was important to include this house premise Richtofen who we only really see for a couple pages in the Call of Duty Zombies comic. Another potentially controversial Richtofen would be the Chronicles Richtofen. This Richtofen I have decided to separate from the other Richtofens because it seems as though he exists in his own bubble. This Richtofen, he is in all the maps that Ultimus Richtofen has been in as well as Primus Richtofen 
but these worlds are slightly altered. For example, Monty is leaving radios all about. People have speculated that perhaps this is something that's going on in the summoning key. It just seems as though there's a slight separation between the Richtofen we see, say, in Chronicles Ascension versus the Ultimus Richtofen we see in our original Ascension. For all we know, the Ultimus Richtofen in Chronicles could be the Ultimus Richtofen in in just the regular game. But for now, just because we don't understand the true nature of Chronicles, I wanted to put it in its own category. The final Richtofen I have for you is the post-Revelations Richtofen. And this Richtofen could also be one of the two Great War Richtofens. We don't know for sure. All we know is that he was frozen under Richtofen's lab within Blood of the Dead. And then he comes out and he uses his crystal to purify Blood of the Dead. And he then goes on to kill Primus Richtofen. He leaves him within the machine and leaves with the rest of the Primus crew. Very little is seen about this post-Revelations Richtofen, and we are guessing that he might be one of the two Great War Richtofens because he's wearing that Great War tunic. However, because we can't confirm where he comes from, I have to put him in his own category. There are two honorable mention Richtofens, the first being Blackout Richtofen. This Richtofen has no connection to any storyline, and I'm including him just for the sake of posterity. We then have Last Gen Richtofen, who is, of course, the key to everything. That's going to wrap things up for this video. That has been every Richtofen ever in Call of Duty Zombies. I'll admit it's a little bit convoluted, it's complicated, it's not as clear cut as I'd like it to be because sometimes these Richtofens overlap, they interact with one another, and they could potentially be the same person. There's just no confirmation, so you have to separate them for the sake of a complete list. If you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, give it a like, maybe subscribe for more. I'm always covering the zombie storyline, so if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll love the next one. Have a great day, and... Bye.